नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एज यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन दैट इज स्पीड ऑफ साउंड एज आई एक्सप्लेन यू इन प्रीवियस क्लिपिंग दैट स्पीड ऑफ साउंड दैट इज लेस देन मिस वी कैन सी दैट इट ट्रेवल्स क्वाइट फास्ट ओके इट्स वैल्यू दैट इज 343 मीटर पर सेकेंड ओके दैट मीन्स इन वन सेकेंड इट यूज टू ट्रेवल 343 मीटर ओके सो जस्ट टू रिड्यूज एरर पर्टिकुलरली टाइमिंग एरर you should either use a large distance approximately 50 meter or you can use a electronic timer or data logger to record the time taken okay so there are two methods by which you can determine the speed of sound first one is your clap echo method yeah in the same way you can understand that i explained that to you in your previous clipping that clap echo method just go in a room which is approximately 30 by 50 feet okay just stay at one corner and try to clap okay when you will clap then your clapping sound will start to travel then it will move very fast and it will strike the walls of that hall okay or that room okay and after reflecting back within 1 or 2 second after you will be able to hear that reflected sound this process is known as echo and when you will get your time most probably it would like to be twice of whatever time that it would like to move from you to wall okay me suppose that a sound would like to take a, a two second to move from you to wall then again it will take two second from wall to you okay so that means total time that in that condition it will take 4 second okay that means after 4 second you will be able to hear your echo sound okay means but practically it is not possible suppose that when you will clap like in quarter of second that you will be able to hear your echo sound okay yes so means in this condition you just have to record Five or ten measurement, and then you just have to take average of that. That will be your average time, which it will take to uh, determine the time taken. Okay, just to produce a call. Okay. Yes. Next is your using microphone and data logger. actually a data logger that is a type of device which can measure and record the time taken for a sound to reach through two microphones okay as usual you can see on your screen there is a picture in which you can see that there is a laptop okay and two microphones they are a little bit distant apart from each other there is a bell when you will ring bell okay then bell will produce vibration okay then vi yeah vibration would like to spread out in all direction and whatever vibration would like to move in forward direction firstly they would like to pass through first microphone or not and then within few second they would like to pass through other microphone okay so you just have to determine that how much time that it take to move from first microphone to second microphone okay so that will be the time that you have to record on your computer also that distance as usual that how much distance that you will take 
between two microphone you have to take that distance when you will divide that you will be able to get the speed of sound with the help of data logger okay I mean suppose that you can understand in this way suppose that you are taking two microphones so 3.4 meter apart okay and data logger is a recording time of 0.01 okay so you just have to divide that that means 3.4 divided by 0.01 so in that condition you will get 340 meter per second clear so these are the two methods that I explained that to you just to determine the presence of sound okay the first one that is clap echo method and the second one using microphone and data logger I hope you understand that